Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So today I have a favorites video for you guys. I know I haven't done favorites in such a long time and it's not even the end of June, but I'm just going to do it anyways just because I've been obsessed with these products and I'm pre-filming because I am moving to LA on Saturday, on Sunday and today it is Thursday so I'm moving in like two days and I have nothing packed so I'm pre-filming so I wanted to get this out of the way and there's just a lot of products to talk about, some new goodies. I'm just oh like obsessed with makeup right now. I cannot stop buying it. I really wanted the vacation collection from Kylie Cosmetics, but of course it was sold out. And then also the Jaclyn Hill palette. I totally forgot to put my alarm that day to wake up on time. And then, yeah, so just a lot of makeup to talk about. I'm very excited for this video. And also, excuse the way I look right now. I know my shirt does not match my makeup. I just filmed a tutorial on this, like, neon yellow liner with hot pink lips. Very cool, fresh summer makeup look. Also, the camera's making me look really muddy right now. Don't know why, so let's just excuse this. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. Hit the notification button if you haven't, so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And let's just get right into this favorites video. Okay, so the first thing that I have to talk about, like I have to, have to, I cannot hold off on this any longer. I am obsessed with this. I've never found something as amazing as this palette. And I feel like you guys need to purchase it if it's still available, if you guys have the money for it, if you want to save up for it. Definitely think it's a really good investment. This is the face palette from the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics and Khloe Kardashian. I did do a review on this palette and on the lipsticks. If you guys want to see that, I'll have that video linked down below. But this, I don't even know how to talk about this, you guys. I have used this every single day since I have purchased this. This is what this baby looks like. I just, I can't. The highlighters are whatever to me. I honestly don't use them that much. This one is too dark for me. The only one that I use is maybe this one every once in a while, but it's not like my go-to highlighter. The blush is amazing. It's a little bit too light for me. I don't really like bright highlighters, so I do mix it with the bronzer, and it makes like this really nice deep pink color. It's gorgeous, but the bronzer shade... Guys, I don't even know how to talk about it. Like This bronzer shade, I know it's crazy because it's just like a bronzer shade, and you're like, okay, well, you can get bronzer from anything from like the Hula bronzer, from the Kat Von D, like anywhere, but this bronzer is just so unbelievably gorgeous it gives you such a beautiful glow oh my goodness like I don't even know what else to say about it it is called Hollywood Boulevard and it is just one of my favorite bronzers I've ever tried better than the Hula bronzer better than the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula which you guys know I was obsessed with for a while and did not put down this has definitely replaced the butter bronzer and oh god I just love it. I was in Palm Springs this week with my girls. We went for like a little girls getaway and of course everyone was playing with my makeup because they don't have makeup and I guess I have a lot of makeup that they want. And they were all obsessed with this bronzer. Like every single day I would apply it and then I'd leave it there on the table and then I would just see my friends come by and use it or they would ask me to apply it on them and they were all like, wow, this bronzer is gorgeous. And they all even said that they would invest in it, which usually my friends aren't really into makeup, so they don't really buy expensive products. And I was like, well, it's $40. And they're like, I don't care. I'm going to get it. Like, this bronzer is just something else. I don't even know what else to say about it. I just definitely think you guys need to try it. It just makes you look literally like a bronze goddess without looking muddy, without looking orange. No shimmer, nothing. It's just, it's just a really beautiful bronzer. And I had to talk about it in this video because I'm really impressed by Kylie. I think she really stepped up the game. I usually never purchase Kylie products except to review them, but I wouldn't purchase them just to have them but after I tried this and then the lipstick collection I've just been really impressed by her and I just feel like she's finally stepping up her game and putting out products that are worth buying and this is one of them for sure all right the next product is an oldie but a goodie for sure I don't know why I forgot about this product or why I never used it in the past even though I remember this was like the it product back in the old days like a year ago everyone was like you need to have this in your life and it was always sold out and I would see pictures of it and everyone had it and I never got it until recently and I never even used it but now I'm obsessed with it this is the Anastasia glow kit in that glow I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere like everyone talks about this palette as you can see, I've hit pan on this one. I'm pretty close to hitting pan on this one and this one as well. But I don't know why I just like never use this. Like I had it and I was like, yes, I finally have it. Everyone's been talking about this and then I just like, I didn't touch it. But I'm wearing that right now and it's, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys see all those pictures of me with like a really intense glow where I'm like looking to the side or looking like that and the glow is just blinding. It is this. It is the Summer Shade, which of course is the one that I hit pan on. This one right here, it's like a yellow, goldish, champagne type shade. 
The other ones are pretty too. Bubbly and Dripping in Gold are beautiful too, but this one is just like, it is like a whole other level of intense glow, beautiful color, very, very good quality product. I believe these are $45. I'm not sure. I don't even know if this one's still available because anytime I try to link it in my videos, like I can't find it. So maybe it's, it is available. I just don't know where or why it's not showing up on the internet, but this has really, really impressed me. It's been my go-to highlight. I just love it so much. I wear it on an everyday basis on my cheek, my inner corner, and on my nose. And then if I'm wearing a low-cut shirt, I'll put it on like my decollete and on my shoulders. And yes, very, very impressed with this. And I just don't know how I wasn't obsessed with this before, honestly. Next up, we have another Kylie product. I promise this video is not sponsored by Kylie or whatever. And I'm not just saying this to suck up to her. I just honestly have been really genuinely impressed with her brand. This is also from the Coco Collection. Like I said earlier, the Coco Collection was very, very good. I definitely recommend you guys purchase it. It's very, very good quality and definitely worth the price. And I think you guys should all try the products out because it's a beautiful collection. This is the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics Gloss. Um, what shade is this? This is in Sugar Plum. Yeah, remember, it's Sugar Plum. The name ran off. But, oh, God, guys. I can't even describe how beautiful this lip gloss is. And usually I'm not a fan of lip glosses because I don't like my lips to be sticky or for, like, the hair to be blowing in the wind and then it getting stuck on my lip gloss. So I usually try to stay away from them. And when I saw this, I was like, ugh, because I, I couldn't remember how to apply lips, lip glosses. I was like, do you apply lip gloss on top of a lip lipstick or do you apply it alone or what's supposed to happen? But this one is just gorgeous. It's like a brown, just, oh my God, I need to swatch this right now for you guys. Like, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I love, like, the glitter it has in it. I also did a review on this if you guys want to see it try on and more swatches of this like it is just a beautiful shade my friend was also wearing this in palm springs and she was like what is that and i was like it's a lip gloss from kylie cosmetics and she was also impressed by kylie she used to hate kylie products and she's like oh you're wearing kylie and i'm like dude trust me she stepped up her game and she tried this and then she tried the face pile and she's like i need to get this collection this lip gloss is just gorgeous to wear alone or to wear on top i usually wear this alone just because i feel like on top it's a little bit too much it makes my lips look a little bit too big and too overwhelming so i usually just wear this alone and it is really really pretty it has a lot of beautiful glitter and sparkle in it and when the light hits it it just looks really gorgeous and makes your lips look very juicy and plump and very sexy and I just think this is like a perfect shade for the summertime when you want to just like be at the beach and look extra glowy and just look very intense this is something gorgeous that will definitely be a steam okay so the next product is also a Sigma product this video is not sponsored like they didn't send me these products to talk about them they just wanted me to try them out um, and I did do like a little snapchat tutorial using this product this is the Sigma Express Express brush cleaning matte that is what this guy looks like. It is like in the plastic hardware, but it does have like a bunch of different textures. So I did do like a mini Snapchat tutorial on how to use this because like I said, I do very colorful makeup looks. So my brushes are very, very dirty and I don't have that many brushes. So it's kind of hard to film different looks because I have to use the same brushes and I hate washing my brushes. Like it's such a hassle and I feel like they get ruined really easily. But this matte has like saved my life, you guys. Like I can't even describe how amazing this is. Basically, like, each part of the mat has, like, a different purpose. So, for example, this side is for brushes that are meant for the eyes. So, there is, like, a texture here that's for rinsing the eye brushes. Another texture that's for refining the eyes, which is that one right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, then there's this one, which is where you wash your eye brushes. The texture is there. And then on the other side is the face one, so where you rinse the face brushes, where you refine them, where you wash them, and then in the middle there's like a refining one, which I guess is for like both sides. Here, I'll zoom in. I'll put this up close so you guys can see all the different textures. There you go. I just think it's a really cool way to clean your brushes because it didn't ruin them. Usually my MAC 217 brush is always ruined after I wash it because I usually just wash it with like the soap that's meant for that. And then, like, for some reason, the bristles always get really ruined or sometimes some sides will be, like, lopsided and it'll just look really weird. But with this, like, I felt like it did not ruin my brushes because each texture was really, really gentle on the brush and the bristles. And I don't know, like, I just, I would have never bought this for myself. I would have been like, eh, this is too much work for washing brushes. But it really does help your brushes and it makes the process a lot funner, a lot easier, and a lot faster. And definitely gets everything out from the brush. So definitely recommend you guys try this out if you guys are into colorful makeup looks or you guys just want to have, you know, cleaner brushes and are looking for a different way to clean your brushes. 
Okay, so this lip product, this is the Lush Lip Balm. It says it's a powerhouse pot of mint honey goodness to protect your pout. This is a honey trap fresh handmade cosmetics lip, what is it? lip balm. And this one is in, which one is this one? This one. Oh, honey trap, I just said that. Um, so honestly, these are amazing. I've always been a fan of Lush products. I like their Lush lip scrubs. I think those are really good for cleaning your lips and exfoliating them and having clean, fresh lips for lipstick. And I do have that one, but it's not something that I'm like crazy about. I just think it gets the job done. But this is amazing. I need chapstick 24 seven of my life. Like I have really dry lips. It's so disgusting and so annoying. So I always sleep with lipstick on or with chapstick on and then I'll wake up and I'll put chapstick on right away and keep reapplying it throughout the day or else my lips will fall off. Like literally they're so dry. And I've been looking for a really good one just because the other ones that I have are from like the original chapstick brand. And then I have one from Birds and the Bees or whatever. And I don't really like those that much. I feel like they don't really like hydrate them or make them feel so smooth as I want them to. Until I came across this person. This is just amazing. I love it. Oh God. And it smells really, really good too. And I love how it's natural and fresh and handmade. So basically it's just like lip balm. Like there's nothing special about it. Um, it just feels really, really nice and so glossy. And sometimes I'll wear this even when I'm not wearing makeup. I'll just wear this because it gives you a really nice glossy finish. Makes your like mouth smell good. And it's just like a really fresh product. And it does help your lips maintain hydrated throughout the day. And I'll also sleep with this on. And then when I wake up after I, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, shower, I'll put this on again. And my lips stay crusty free all day long, which who does not want crusty free lips? Honestly, this thing is amazing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for all my favorite products in the month of July. Not even in the month of July, but just lately, I've just been obsessed with these products. They're amazing. I'm really, really happy about the uh, Coco Collection face palette. That's like the one product out of this whole collection that I love the most. Definitely recommend you guys check this out. Even if you're not a fan of Kylie or of the Kardashian family, whatever. If you just want a good bronzer, just suck it up and just get this because it really, really is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. And then let me know down below what products you have been loving lately, what products you want me to try out, or products you haven't been liking lately either because I definitely want to stay away from bad purchases because I am moving into an apartment, so I need to save money, so I need to make good purchases. So if you guys have been hating any products or were disappointed, also, let me know down below, and yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.